When I'm online, I log on to TomorrowPinterest.tv. Anything else? Um, music? Movies? Now, you, do you mean that in terms of... Um, your opinion about them? What you like, what you don't like? What I, what I do and don't like about movies now? Yes. Uh, movies just through the years. Movies through the years and what you don't like about movies now, sort of comparing. Well, the only thing I can say against movies, movies are good. only thing I can say now is that the stars that I knew and loved, they are not in the forefront anymore, you know. Right. Not, and so it makes me not interested because I don't know the people. I'd have to get to know them and, you know, to decide I want to see this movie because so-and-so is in it. Right. I don't know anybody anymore. Mm -hmm. But the movies aren't that bad, you know. People sort of feel that their movies are not, you know, they say like when movies were movies. Movies are pretty good still. It's just that people have lost interest in it. They have interest in other things now. That's so a good that point. Is. Yeah. Very true. Um, there was a time when there's nowhere for the blacks to go but go to the show, you know, before mm -hmm. they started letting us come to the museums and things. Mm -hmm. In Memphis, Tennessee, uh, they had a zoo in Memphis. The blacks could go one day a week. That was on Tuesday. And the whites could come when we were there, but we couldn't go the other six days when they were there. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And we had something like, a, they call it the fairgrounds. It was like Disney World in Memphis. Mm -hmm. We'd have it, uh, it was uh, stationary there. It wasn't, they'd bring it to town. The blacks had, was it a week in the fall or three days? And the whites had it for the rest of the year. Isn't that something? Mm -hmm. See, uh, i tell you one thing. When they had laws and rules, you didn't have all this killing and stuff. Interesting. But as soon as um, they fought for our rights and they gave us a lot of, lot of things that we haven't been having, then here comes all this killing. It wasn't this bad when we were young. Kind of unheard of. Somebody get killed every blue moon. But... Um, not like it is now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Music's changed a lot too. Hmm. Music. Say it again. Music has changed a lot. Ooh, so much so till uh, I just don't even listen. Mm -mm. But see, that's uh, life. Things change. Yeah. What are some of your uh, favorite artists of all time? Music artists. Um, let me see. You do you know that I never had a favorite movie actor or actress uh, because she had so many good ones when I came along. Mm -hmm. I just couldn't afford to pick out one person. Like Clark Gable, John Wayne, Henry Fonda, Burt Lancaster, Gary Cooper. And that's just a handful. It's just a few. Uh, I just didn't have a favorite. There was no man or woman where I had to see the movie because this one person was in it. Most of them uh, that came out, the movies, they had about six good ones out, you know, and I want to see all of them because I like them all, you know. So I didn't have one favorite person. I had a lot of favorite actors and actors. Just as. Mm -hmm. Now, what about uh, musicians? Musicians, I never had a favorite musician because I like songs more than I did the music. The the musician performing. I like the, the songs and the words to the songs. Mm -hmm. 
to eat like more uh, American standards types of oh, stuff? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Fly me to the moon, something like that. Yeah, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Me too. I like that stuff. Oh, good. Okay. We are done. Mm -hmm. Over. Not, um, Somebody said to me last week that a lot of people in the old country are crazy about him. Oh yeah, in Europe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they love him. Mm -hmm. In in Europe, mm -hmm. um, they love him in Europe, in India, and in South America, and mm -hmm. a lot of other places. That's good. Um, and there are many places in America where people really do uh, mm -hmm. love him. Unfortunately, there are a few factions of, of people that uh, are a little bit uncomfortable with his uh, approach mm -hmm. uh, to yeah. politics and leadership and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, I don't necessarily believe that he uh, can or will be assassinated. Um, I think we're past that in this society. I, I think there are other ways that they sort of get rid of leadership. I mean, he can be his character can be assassinated through the media. You know, there's all kinds of things that people can do um, as far as leaking stories and things like that, rumor, innuendo, to sort of undermine someone's credibility. Um, so I, I think if, if someone was going to try to figure out some sort of creative way to get rid of him, I, I think that would be something more along the lines of what would, uh, what would happen. Mm -hmm. But... Um, uh, at, at this stage of the game, I don't think that that's the case. I mean, he hasn't really been in office long enough. Um, it's one of those things, you know, we got three more years of this guy, so, which I think is a good thing. I think a, a sort of a change in leadership in America is, is good and a change in complexion of leadership for uh, the time being, I think, is healthy as, as well. So I look at it as a good thing. It doesn't bother me at all. I'm very happy about it. exclusively on TomorrowPictures.tv. Tomorrow Pictures. The story is in the telling. <laughs>